Folsom Field, 5,000 feet above sea level in the city of Boulder, Colorado. The air might be thin up here, but these fans are thick with enthusiasm. And now let's head down to the coin toss and is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Colorado is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Good possession there for the defense. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 45. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Going to go across the middle. Caught. They'll bring him down at the 34. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. He fights forward to about the 33. down around the 31 yard line third down and they need to get it to the 24 catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line Colorado is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He hooked it right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, second down. at the 48-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play, and you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Yeah. 
Tackled after a decent pickup. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. They run it left. Makes it out to about the 40. Yeah, I love this offensive coordinator. I've always really appreciated his approach to the game. He's a little bit unorthodox in his approach, and this time he gives the wide receiver a chance to carry the football to pick up a first down. McMillan gets a carry right side. He's taken down at the 38. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. Runs it left for a decent game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle made at about the 35. There was a little bit of running room, but once the defense had sized up the play, it closed in a hurry. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They come out at a five-wide set. They go with the run. He's tackled at the 35. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. So at the end of one, no score here. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. He might not be able to get the pass off. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. And they push him out around the 41-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's into the open field. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Good tackle there in space. from the 34-yard line. First down. Uh -oh. 
And they get nice yardage on that run. Makes it out to about the 20. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 20-yard line, first down. On the run, right side. And they make the stop at the 17. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he tackles them hard at the 13-yard line. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Touchdown, Arizona! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 59 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Arizona ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He goes out of bounds around the 21-yard line. from their own 21-yard line. Second down. Swings it out left to the halfback. Brought down around the 22-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. The Wildcats use their second timeout. Gets to about the 37-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arizona up seven points. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. 
So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled in the open field. They come out on an empty backfield. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner. And he's tackled around the 15-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. They'll line up with five wide receivers. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Fires out to his wideout. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Arizona is up by a touchdown. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And a quick throw. Here's an opening down the sideline. And he hits him hard at the 27. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Colorado's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Throws this one out to the right. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. What well, a great catch by the wide receiver, and the guy who needs to be thanking him is the quarterback. That's not where he wanted that ball to go, but the receiver made the catch and saved the quarterback for a touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Arizona is up a score. Makes it out to about the 33. We've still got a half of football remaining. Arizona's lead is a touchdown.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Again, he'll get the call. Good outside run there. Pitch, right side. Looking for the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Hunter on the give. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Makes it out to about the 50. From the 50. First down. He takes it right side for a good game. his way to the 36 yard line this is the eighth play of this drive they give to the tailback and they get him in the backfield for a loss from the 38 yard line it's second down. Makes it out to about the 26. This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 22-yard line. Feeds it to the back. Room around the corner. Tackle made at the five.
Here's the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Colorado is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Wiley with the toss, and he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Weaver back to return it. And this one is a beauty. And he just got stood up right there. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on their own 36. Gives it off. Got the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. Fights forward to about the 43. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Fields a punt at the 20. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession's going to make a difference. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. It's second and 12. Ball on the 24. Gives it to the back. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the 42. From their own 42-yard line, 
First down. They'll bring him down at the 43. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 48-yard line. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Brought down around the 22-yard line. from their own 22-yard line. Second down, less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Gets to about the 41-yard line. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 36. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Can't tack on any yardage. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Just over a minute left. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. Arizona is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Oh, he 
get a shot at the pick. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. And he's tackled at the 38. Fires it out. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Tailback brought down for a loss. The Buffaloes will use their first time out of the half. Under a minute left in the game. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. It's the tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Wiley gets six yards on the play. Colorado is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They go to the ground and he stops short. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 2014, Arizona. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 44. He's out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He sails it long. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. And the ball game's over. The Wildcats take this one, 20 to 14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.